Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you guys my OMAD routine or AKA my one meal a day routine for weight loss. And I just want to briefly pop in here and explain what exactly is one meal a day and how I follow this diet and how there are different ways to follow this diet. So if you guys are new to my channel, I lost over 100 pounds by eating only one meal a day, but I did this on the ketogenic diet. Diet. So since I lost a large amount of weight, I have come off of the ketogenic diet. Now, so I eat more high protein. I allow myself to have carbs, but I also have a limit to the amount of carbs that I choose to eat. And usually because I'm intermittent fasting and I don't want my blood sugar to be all over the place, I also eat fruit, but I try to stay away from processed food or processed sugar as much as possible because I don't wanna hurt myself while I am intermittent fasting. When you aren't eating anything, meaning you are fasting, then you can only have things like black coffee, water, or plain tea with the exception to some artificial sweeteners. Sometimes I use artificial sweeteners like if I'm having tea before bed or when I wake up or if I'm drinking black coffee before my workout. Sometimes I do that but I try not to. So OMAD or AKA eating only one meal a day is an intermittent fasting method. For about one to three hours, four hours maximum, you are eating only one meal or a combination of meal for your daily calorie deficit if you are trying to lose weight. So for me, for instance, I like to drink protein shakes and I also like to do that to break my fast or I just like to do that to get nutrients in. Usually if you are intermittent fasting or doing something restrictive like keto, you will be abstaining away from certain type of nutrients or minerals. So you do need supplements in that case scenario. Every single morning, I usually just drink black coffee as a pre-workout and usually I have it flavored, but I don't add any creamer or any type of sugar inside of it. Sometimes I may add stevia if I can't bear it, but usually this is not the case. And then I do exercise about four to five times a week and I do this in an intermittent fast state. And then immediately after I exercise for about 45 minutes, I go and sit in the sauna because I am only eating one meal a day, I have to prioritize my nutrients. So I'm going to be making a protein smoothie bowl and then my main meal and then not eating anything else for the rest of the day. So the first thing that I am doing is just chopping up some bananas and then freezing them. And then I am taking one cup of almond milk and putting it inside of my blender. Once the bananas are frozen, then I will take those out of the freezer and also put those into the blender as well. And then the next thing I'm going to be taking is half an avocado, also putting that inside of the blender. And then I'm also taking one cup of frozen blueberries and putting them inside of the blender. I usually carry out my morning routines while intermittent fasting. So now it is time to break my fast. I'm gonna be taking this True Fit And this is what the blender looks like before blending it. One scoop of the protein powder has 25 grams of protein and I absolutely love the color that this came out to be. I think because the protein powder is white, it became this pretty purple color. And then I'm adding some unsweetened coconut flakes on top of the smoothie bowl. In addition to that, I'm cutting up some strawberries and adding that on top as well. Lastly, I'm taking this keto nut granola mix. It has two grams of net carbs per serving, and it's basically regular granola, but only ketogenic ingredients. Okay. 
And this protein smoothie bowl is the first thing I ate to be able to re-nourish myself and break my fast in a healthy manner. Another way that I break my fast or I get my nutrients in that I would usually be losing since I'm not eating all day long and I exercise fasted is eating protein shakes. So I usually make protein shakes on a daily basis because I follow a high protein diet and I do exercise a lot. And so whenever I am making a protein shake, I try to make sure it's ketogenic. And if it isn't ketogenic, I just try to make sure it's as natural as possible so I don't spike my insulin or my blood sugar too high because I'm not eating for such a long period of time. And this is something that I enjoy doing. These are just some of the ways that I follow eating only one meal a day and still am able to safely practice intermittent fasting. If you guys are interested in exactly what I eat in a day, I do have weight loss recipes down below. You can still have snacks while you're intermittent fasting or even when you're eating one meal a day. It just depends on what you have and of course staying in a calorie deficit. So the store that I went to to get snacks was called Sprouts. And what I love about Sprouts is that they have a bunch of different keto slash vegan or vegetarian options that you can choose from. And as you can see, they also have tons of supplements, bars, candies, cookies, like literally everything that you could get if you're trying to diet is here. So hi everyone. So I wanted to show you guys some snacks that I got for the week. Usually in my videos, I put different types of items that I get from grocery stores that are special to my diet. I usually eat a high protein diet. I am vegetarian. I try to eat plant-based as possible. Sometimes I opt for either eggs or dairy, but for the most part, I don't eat meat at all. So I consider myself vegetarian and or plant-based. And on top of that, I try not to consume a lot of sugar. I don't like to consume a lot of products processed sugar but I am a human being and I do have cravings for snacks and treats and things of that nature so I'm gonna show you guys what I got that basically fits that kind of definition so the store that I went to is called Sprouts I usually go to this store called Erewhon I do live in California so those are just the stores that are local to me that would have the foods or the snacks that I would like to get and Erewhon is kind of the more upscale expensive store but Sprouts is a little bit on the cheaper side, but they had a lot of options. So I'm really pleasantly surprised. I got were these Catalina Crunch cookies. If you guys are trying to lose weight or if you guys are like interested in the ketogenic diet and you're on Instagram, usually Instagram will try to recommend you things that are, you know, familiar to you or things that you would buy as an advertisement. I don't know about you, but I've been seeing this and the Catalina Crunch cereal like everywhere and so basically they are cookies and this one is in the flavor peanut butter and it has two grams of sugar per serving four grams of protein and three grams of fiber and i also got a different flavor as well i got the regular ones that imitate oreos too so i got both of these and i'm excited to try these another snack that i got were these cookies now these are enlightened cookies and i believe this is cookie dough so i found these in the freezer slash fridge section so you know where all the meat is and everything that's actually where I found these cookies and it says on the back the baking instructions is you preheat the oven and then you place the cookie dough on a sheet and then you bake it for 10 minutes and then these are just ready to eat I'm actually very excited about this one because Enlighten usually makes ketogenic ice cream and it's pretty good and it's usually low calorie so the fact that I was able to find this in an actual cookie form and eat ketogenic cookies and they're just ready to bake like any type of cookie dough mix that you would get usually is very exciting for me. Next thing I got was this ketogenic granola mix. So I am not the type of person who likes to eat cereal in the morning, but I am the type of person who likes to eat oatmeal sometimes or any type of nuts like granola. And this is actually ketogenic. So this is keto nut granola in the flavor blueberry cinnamon. 
and it only has nine grams of net carbs per serving. It also has two grams of sugar as well. And so I would basically put this in my oatmeal if I wanted to, or I could literally just eat this with some yogurt or use it as a topping or even put it in some of my smoothies. And I'm really excited about this. I've actually never seen ketogenic granola before. The next thing that I picked up is this vegan mac and cheese. Now this is not ketogenic, but it is vegan. And I personally have been craving mac and cheese a lot. I don't know. I had some on Thanksgiving and it was vegan. And like since then, I don't know if it's just like nostalgia. This one has 60 grams of carbs. So it is not obviously ketogenic, but it doesn't have any sugar inside of it. So, you know, this is just something that I would have like as a treat if I wanted it. I also got this keto bar right here. It is a protein bar. It has 10 grams of protein and it only has two grams of sugar and it was just on display so i wanted it it was kind of expensive this is really small but it was like three dollars for it but i still got it this is a homeopathic remedy so basically it's for stress relief and you spray it in your mouth and it's supposed to be able to help you with stress and i have been kind of stressed out lately because i've been doing like a lot of projects and working and trying to work out and all of that good stuff so i'm excited to see if this actually works they had different options they had one for sleep they had one for anxiety they had one for stress so i got the one for stress and i'm gonna see if it actually works and i will update you guys Moving on to my last meal for the day. I usually eat from 2 to 6 p.m. So I'll break my fast at around 2 and then consume the smoothie or the smoothie bowl and the supplements from 2 to 3 and I let that digest. And then this is where I have my main and last meal for the day. So the first thing I am doing is just taking some green beans and putting olive oil on the pan and also just adding some seasonings like garlic salt and regular salt, pepper, etc. Next, I am cutting some bell peppers. First, I core the bell peppers, so basically take the stem off and where the seeds are, I also take that off as well. And then I'm slicing them into tinier pieces. And then I am going to be putting that on the skillet also. But this time I'm not adding oil since I already added oil to the green beans. I didn't want to add too many calories. So I just lightly sprayed the pan with some olive oil cooking spray. So I could obviously have less calories. I'm seasoning the bell peppers with everything but the bagel seasoning. I know this is supposed to be used for like ketogenic bread and things like that, but I honestly like the way that it tastes on my vegetables. I feel like it's kind of the perfect seasoning for that. Next, I am taking some meat and forming them into the shape of patties. And I'm basically going to be making bunless burgers or just one bunless burger that has two patties. This is usually my go-to because it's filling. It's easy to get a large amount of protein from eating this. This is plant-based meat. So one serving has, I believe, 40 grams of protein. So this is usually what I include in my diet, especially if I'm intermittent fasting because I eat a high protein meatless diet. I flipped the patties over and I added seasoning to them and then I only put cheese on one single patty and then I am assembling my bunless burger. So I just put spinach in the middle and then the patty with the cheese on top of the entire thing. And then next I am taking some potatoes. I wash them first and I'm slicing them into little pieces and then I put them in a pot of water so they can boil. And while the potatoes were boiling, I created a seasoning to go on top of the potatoes. 
I added about four different seasonings. First, I added Himalayan salt, and I always use Himalayan salt because it has electrolytes in it. It has potassium, magnesium, and sodium. And then I added paprika, pepper, and then I also added olive oil to the dish, and I kind of mixed it together until it was more fluid-like. So once the potatoes were actually softened, I could go ahead and put this on top. And this was super delicious. This was my first time actually making potatoes like this and I was pleasantly surprised and I actually made them again the next day for my second OMAD meal because this was so good. And this is my main meal and my last meal for the day. If you guys are interested in exactly what I eat in a day, I do have weight loss recipes down below and I will see you guys in the next one.